What is a rootkit? A rootkit is a type of malicious software designed to gain unauthorized access to a computer system and remain hidden by gaining privileged administrator level access to the computer systems. It allows a cyber criminal to control the compromised system while masking their presence and activities. The term rootkit is a combination of the word root and kit. Root is the name of the administrator account on Unix-like operating systems and kit means a package of software tools. So a rootkit is a set of tools that give someone admin level access to a system. An incident involving Sony BMG Music Entertainment occurred in 2005 when they distributed music CDs that contained a rootkit in a scheme designed to control and restrict customers from copying the music. Customers were unaware of the rootkit and it created major security risks and potential privacy violations. Even when it was removed, it left unresolved issues on your computer. As a result of the controversy and backlash surrounding the incident, legal action was taken against Sony BMG. They settled the lawsuits and recalled about 10% of the affected CDs, provided compensation to affected consumers and stopped the CD copy protection effort. Rootkits exploit vulnerabilities in a computer's operating system, applications or firmware to gain initial access. This can occur through phishing emails, social engineering, exploiting security weaknesses in the network or downloading compromised files or software like in the story mentioned with Sony. Once inside, the rootkit installs itself deep within the system, often disguising its presence and gaining the attacker privileged access. There are many types of rootkits, like kernel mode rootkits. These modify the core components of the operating system, known as the kernel, to gain control over the system. Boot kits. These infect the system's boot process, allowing the rootkit to launch even before the operating system loads. Memory-based rootkits. These reside in a system's memory and manipulate running processes to maintain control over the system. And firmware rootkits. These infect firmware, such as the BIOS, which are responsible for initializing hardware components during system startup. The challenge with trying to detect rootkits is that they are designed to remain hidden and because they have administrative rights, they can easily disable security software which makes them even harder to find. However, there are some signs of a rootkit infection, including your computer is running slow, taking longer to boot up or freezes often, changes to system settings, files or registry entries, especially if these changes occurred without your permission or awareness. Unexpected network activity or suspicious outgoing connections. You notice activity when your system is not really doing anything or your web browser is acting up by redirecting you to different websites. Missing or disabled security software. This is a top priority for a rootkit to avoid detection. Removing rootkits is complicated as they look like part of the operating system, especially if it is able to make changes to your firmware. There are specialized tools that can remove specific rootkits, but often the only way to remove them entirely is to rebuild the computer and reinstall the operating system. And that is why prevention is always better than cure. So here are some ways to help minimize the risk of rootkits. Keep operating systems, applications and security software up to date. This prevents vulnerabilities that rootkit software can take advantage of. Exercise caution when downloading files or clicking on suspicious attachments. Rather download files from trusted sources. Avoid opening email attachments or clicking on links in emails from unknown or untrusted sources. Use comprehensive security software that includes rootkit detection and prevention features. This includes using strong and unique passwords to prevent unauthorized access. You can also implement network segmentation, which divides your network into smaller subnets, which helps limit the spread of future infections so that it doesn't affect the entire network. So now that you know that, you can protect yourself from a rootkit and even that old music CD from 2005. Support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button and sharing us with your friends so we can help them too. Leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And support us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.